It's Umsum time! What if there were no sharks? No need of sharks. I am there to scare everybody. Ah! Oh, Umsum. <laughs> Firstly, the makers of shark movies will have to search for a new villain. Hmm. Secondly, sharks have been around for more than 400 million years. With no sharks, the natural food chain oh. in the oceans might just completely collapse. Ooh. Hmm. Thirdly, ah. with no sharks around to eat those fishes which <laughs> eat algae-eating fishes, there will be a drastic decrease in algae-eating fishes. This will lead to an exponential increase in the amount of algae. This algae will cover the coral reefs not allowing it to photosynthesize. This loss of habitat will lead to mass extinction. Fourthly, sea creatures which depend on sharks' nitrogen-rich poo for nourishment will suffer. Hmm. On the flip side, surfers as well as people with galeophobia, as in fear of sharks, will be one happy lot. Hmm. What if all bats disappeared? Uh -huh. Then I will wear my special bat costume and surprise ah! everybody. <laughs> oh, um, some. <laughs> Firstly, bats consume millions of insects. These insects are known to damage crops as well as spread diseases in huh? human beings. Hmm. Secondly, bats are important pollinators of fruits such as mangoes, papayas, and bananas. With no bats around, fruit lovers would face tough times. <laughs> Thirdly, a research suggests that bats maintain more than 50% of the world's old rainforest. Hmm. With no bats, time to say goodbye to world's forest cover. Hmm. Fourthly, bats are important pollinators of cacti. Cacti play a crucial role in supporting life in deserts. Hmm. With no bats, huh? deserts will be a much tougher place to survive in. Hmm. Lastly, with all bats disappearing, huh? Producers of Batman movies will find it difficult to find a new name as well as a new mascot. Hmm. What if all spiders disappeared? Huh? Then what will happen to Spider-Man? I will miss him. Oh, um some. Ah! Firstly, people with arachnophobia, as in fear of spiders, will be one happy lot. Secondly, museums will open up showcasing the strength as well as the engineering marvel of a spider web. Thirdly, spiders are ferocious predators of pests. Without any spiders, these pests will eat away our crops. Humanity will probably face a famine-like situation. Fourthly, spider's venom as well as spider's web are believed to have a number of medicinal properties. With no spiders, medical fraternity will definitely suffer a big loss. Fifthly, huh? Spider-Man will probably lose his superpowers. Superheroes will be in for a shock. Mm. Lastly, with no more spiders, directors huh? of scary Hollywood movies may run out of new ideas to scare people. Mm. Huh? What if all snakes disappeared? Then I will become a snake and scare everybody. Oh, I'm some. Firstly, snakes primarily snack on mice or rats. With all snakes gone, oh. mice or rats will have a gala time. Musophobia, as in fear of mice or rats, might set in. Mm. Secondly, venom from snakes plays a very important role in the development of medicines. They've been used in the treatment of heart attacks as well as blood disorders. With no more snakes, medical research might suffer a lot. Thirdly, Animals like mongoose, eagles, and hawks will really miss snakes. This is because they are known to kill and eat them. Fourthly, many iconic Hollywood films like Anaconda, Harry Potter series, etc. have snakes playing important roles. With no snakes, Hollywood scriptwriters might face tough times. Lastly, people with ophidiophobia, as in fear of snakes, will have nothing to worry about anymore. <laughs> What if all the wasps disappeared? Then I will remove their invisibility cloaks. Oh, um some. <laughs> Disappearance of wasps would be a disaster in the making. Firstly, this would be a big loss for medical research as wasps' venom is believed to kill cancerous cells. Secondly, 
farmers will have a really hard time, as wasps, also known as nature's pest controllers, protect plants and crops by feeding on spiders, flies, millipedes, etc. Mm. Thirdly, there will be insects everywhere as wasps are believed to eat at least 14 million kilograms of insects each year in the UK. Mm. Fourthly, it will be great loss for the creative world as wasps huh? are considered to be exquisite engineers of their nests. Mm. Lastly, we would definitely have to say our final goodbyes to a number of beautiful flowers as wasps huh? are considered to be crucial pollinators. Mm. What if all insects disappeared? No worries, I have their photographs. You might think insects are inconsequential, but the reality is, without them, there probably would be no life on Earth. <laughs> the first life to get affected would be plant life. Most plants in the world are angiosperms, that is, flowering plants. Without insects pollinating them, plant life would gradually disappear. Gradually, birds and mammals feeding on plants would also disappear. Further, insects are food for many birds, frogs, reptiles, etc. Without insects, they would also start dying. Then, animals eating those animals would also start dying. This would ultimately lead to a domino effect, finally wiping out the top of the food chain, that is, human beings. Also, don't be surprised if you suddenly see a lot of dead things everywhere. This is because insects are decomposers. Without insects, decomposition process would take much longer. What if all mosquitoes disappeared? They have not disappeared. They have gone to a party. Oh, um, some. Firstly, mortality rates would be greatly reduced as malaria and dengue fever are caused by mosquitoes. Malaria is responsible for more than 400,000 yearly deaths. Secondly, as mosquito bites will no longer be an issue, many people will sleep peacefully. But there are more than 3,500 species of mosquitoes. Only a few of them rely on human blood for survival. Many of them feed on nectar from flowers as well as fruit juices. So, their disappearance might affect the environmental balance. Firstly, as many species of mosquitoes pollinate flowers, pollination would be affected to an extent. Secondly, as mosquitoes are a part of daily diet of fishes, lizards, and frogs, they might go on a hunger strike. Also, all the mosquitoes disappearing will be very bad news for the entire mosquito repellent industry. Hmm. What if all the bees die? No ways! I will sell all my burgers and create a safe house for them. That's so cute, Umsum. Hmm? There are more than 16,000 species of bees. Bees generally collect pollen and nectar from flowers for their survival. In this process, they help pollinate majority of the fruits and vegetable crops ah. which are consumed in the world today. Hmm. Some studies reveal that more than 90% production of cherries, blueberries, and almonds is a direct result of the pollination efforts of bees. Also, certain oh. bees have evolved as ah. per the size and structure of specific flowers. Hence, if there are no bees, these plants would definitely go extinct. This will also have a catastrophic effect on the food chain as the animals eating those plants will slowly but surely perish. Finally, because of the absence of natural sweetener like honey, many people may switch ah. over to an unhealthy artificial sweetener like sugar. Hmm. What if we give up half of Earth huh? for wildlife? Wow! But where will I stay? Here or there? Oh, um, some. <laughs> Firstly, this will be a historic step by mankind. Possibly the best step mankind has taken till now. Secondly, with no more humans to boss them <laughs> around, wildlife will be free and extremely happy. Thirdly, with so many new trees being added, global warming and climate change might take a back seat. Mm. Fourthly, with such a large area reserved for forests, zoos might become a thing of the past. Mm. 
Fifthly, people might start going to safaris on weekends instead of going to shopping malls. Mm. Also, domesticated animals like dogs and cats mm. might get jealous of their wildlife counterparts. Mm. Lastly, for this to be successful, human beings will have to keep a check on their population as well on their greed. Mm. 